Just look at that snow outside. It's nice, eh? Look at that beautiful white snow falling out of this great, great sky. But it's freaking cold outside. However, to protect ourselves from the cold, they invented heated clothes. And I am gonna test the cheapest out there, especially for you. Is it worth the money or not? Let's find out. Since I ride also in the winter, it will be nice to not totally freeze to death while riding. And layers work fine, but I don't like 10.000 layers around me. I feel like a mummy then and I cannot move. But besides riding, this counts for everything you gotta do outdoors when it's cold. So I was looking at some heated clothes, but damned, those are expensive. <laughs> 200 euros for one shirt. Wait, 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 hey, let me give them a call right away. Yeah, hi. Uh, listen, you know, uh, I'm a poor musician. You know, music. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> because of Corona. But uh, how much does your cheapest heated vest cost? 190 euros. 190 euros. Oh, it's without batteries also. It's sold separately. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna find a different solution. Thank you very much. Bye bye. And so, being Sherlock Holmes again, as I am sometimes, I found it this vest. It costs 23 euros and with shipping uh, 7 dollars, so uh, almost 30 euros. Without any doubts, made by our Chinese friends. <laughs> but hey, I've ordered one to test it out for you. Totally free. Well, you guys can give this video a like or a thumb up in the return. That will be nice, you cheap bastards. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. Ta-da! I wanted a black one, but of course they were all sold out when I made the order. So, I have a blue one. It's also nice. I wanted a black one. Ah, well, it's underneath my clothes, so who cares? I care. I wanted a black one. <laughs> Guys, make sure you watch the whole video, uh, because I know some of you have the attention span of an uh, unburned goldfish. And it would be a shame to ride in the cold because of that. And I will tell you about a video you 100% definitely do not want to miss. So, let's run through it. It comes with a USB connector and you are supposed to plug a power bank to this one. Well, I have a big one. <laughs> It is a bit large, uh, yeah, but okay. I can always buy a smaller one to make it a little bit more comfortable. It has a disco button when you connect to it. Party! Woo! Uh, it has three modes, blue, green and red. And I assume the red one is the most powerful one. As you can see, it has six heated parts on the back, one in the neck and two on the front of your chest. It's got silver space stuff in the inside. <laughs> I think it's made for protection when the whole thing is gonna burn up in flames. <laughs> it's never gonna happen, of course, because this one is built with this finest, strong Chinese quality. It has a zipper and pockets also for your battery pack. Even my huge battery. And a big ass label. And as you might know, Chinese people are very good in translating their language to English. So let's see what they are saying. It says about something how it works. The blue light is heated at low temperature. The white light... White light? It was green. Well, the white light is heated at medium temperature and the red light is heated at high temperature. Long press temperature switch 3 seconds. Huh? Right. <laughs> and they say you can wash it. And it has even the washing instructions on it. Point number one. Take out the charging treasure. Is that called a treasure? A battery in English? No, I think this, this is just a little Chinese mistake. <laughs> It's a difficult language. Take out the charging treasure and add a neutral detergent. De detergent. De deter Man, I don't know. I'm like the I'm like the Chinese people. I also don't know. I'm doing this channel in English, but yeah, difficult. And do not rub or beat it hard. <laughs> well, normally when I wash, I just kick the living shit out of it. But yeah, it's not okay. Please do not access the charging treasure. Hmm? What is the charging treasure? Now I don't know what it is. Take out the charging treasure. It is 
strictly forbidden to use electricity in wet clothes. But you can wash this one. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not gonna wash this one. I think I skipped that part. Because yeah, I want it to work. And I don't know about electricity and water. Something tells me it is not a good combination. But why washing it anyway? It is a body warmer. But now the big question. Does this work? Let's take it outside because it's freezing cold here in the Netherlands. So, perfect to test it out. Let's go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's pretty unusual for Holland. So, I'm, uh, I'm walking outside now. It is very cold. So, what did I wear today to test it? Well, I've got a uh, summer t-shirt. Over it, I got a heated vest. And over that, I got a shirt with long sleeves, which sits kind of tight. So it pushes the uh, body warmer against my body. Well, I've got it now in position two. I was like, yeah, skip the first one. And until now, I don't feel much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it to position number three, the red ones. You see, now it's green and now it's red. All right. Okay, let's see if this is any better. It's actually a long time ago since we had snow in Holland. And it looks like the whole week is gonna be like this. It's a disaster. Oh, it is cold. I do this all for you guys. Diesel. Come on, show ya. <laughs> Had some fun with the dock. The heated vest is now on position number three. Red position. And yeah, I can feel it. I can definitely feel this one. My neck is uh, very warm. The back, I feel a little bit, not that much. And I feel a little bit here. On my chest, which is nice actually. I cannot feel my back that much, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If I press on it, yeah. Yeah, I feel it. So, yeah, it is nice and warm actually. Let me stand still for a minute because the camera is wobbling. Your guys are like, yeah, 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 row. But uh, I think it's, it's very nice, it's warm. I like it. It is actually very cold. My hands are cold, my face is cold, my shoes are cold, but not my chest. Just is actually warm. I think this is uh, for 30 euros. It will keep me warm. Yeah, <laughs> then this is warm. Actually, maybe a bit too warm even. I, I, I call this hot. Especially with a motorcycle jacket, because this jacket I'm wearing is a very cheap jacket. It was only 50 euros, so it's doing shit. Uh, let's face it, this is not a, a proper winter jacket. This is a very cheap jacket of 50 euros. But it looks nice, I guess. I can, I can use a warm hot chocolate now. And I will show you where to buy this. Let's run back to the studio because the rest of my body is actually kind of cold. Not my chest. Chest is fine. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Ah! Man, I got this corona hair. <laughs> Man, whatever. I also tried it on the motorcycle, but of course my camera was not recording it. I thought it was recording, but no, it was not recording. Yeah, this is a very professional channel. But I have to say, I like it and for 30 bucks I really like it a lot. And I have no doubt that the $200 version is better. Let's get real here. I will only use it in the winter and it will keep me warm. It is even really hot in my neck and I really like that. So I cannot find any good reason to pay 170 dollars or euros more. I don't really feel the front of it, but I think it has to do with a bit oversized version. You know, with Chinese shops, uh, when you uh, buy a triple XL and then it's made for your son, who is nine. I bought a 4XL and I think a 3 or 2XL was probably be better. Because now it's a bit oversized and it gives a little space and air and then you not really feel it. By the way, I'm 1 meter and 85 centimeters and I weigh around 95 kilograms. I know that's too heavy. I know. But yeah, now you have a little bit of an idea what size you should choose. Don't buy it too big. Unless you're gonna put a lot of clothes underneath it. But then it's not working at all. By the way, you can also build a USB connection to the battery of your bike so you don't have to struggle every time with those power banks. Just remind yourself that you are connected when you step off the bike. <laughs> yeah, just saying. Well, I used it now for at least 10 times uh, for longer periods and it's still working okay. So I think the quality is fine. I think it's kind of okay. If it can hold one winter, then it's good enough for me. And if it breaks, I will buy the black one next year. I want the black one. <laughs> so 
Here is my advice. Buy this one unless you're filthy rich and you don't know what to do with your money. I have a PayPal link in the description below if that is the case. So you can support a poor musician. Well, after all, I need to raise some money for my upcoming summer adventure. So yeah, any help would be awesome. However, if money is a thing, then for 30 bucks, you're out of the cold in the wintertime. Trust me, for 30 bucks, cold is no longer an issue. You can also use it for walking outside, bicycling, uh, whatever you're gonna do. When it's cold, this vest will keep you warm. I'll put a link to this vest in the description in my video below. And yes, that's an affiliate link and that means you're also supporting me. Don't worry, the price will be identically the same if you would look it up yourself. However, this one is the winner here. I can't tell if the other ones you're seeing are also that good. I don't know man, just be smart. This is the winner, this one is good. Let me know in the comments if this link is actually working if you're living outside of the Netherlands. Because I don't know, I'm completely new to this whole affiliate thing. Probably I'm not gonna earn anything because I did something wrong. <laughs> so if you can put in the comments if you actually can order it from outside the Netherlands, that will be awesome. Listen up, listen up. Next week I'm gonna post a video that gives the best audio helmet system you ever heard in your life for less than $50. It sounds way better than even the most expensive Cardo or Senna system out there. Trust me, you don't want to miss that video. Well, that's it for now. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was useful. If so, please give this video a thumb up and I will see you all next week. For now, ride safely.